Hello. Um. It's just me and <laughs> coffee here. Coughing up a storm. Um. It's a funny thing. This morning when I was dropping off Trinity, I had. I don't need to see your foot. Um. Everything. What am I saying? Anyway, pretty much on the drive through of preschool, I was flying up until I got, like, going. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh my gosh, I have a bad feeling in my gut again. How's this going to go? Because Trinity said that she didn't want her walker anymore. And I was like, great, that will save time. You know, I asked him if they can just carry her in like they usually do. And I don't have to get out and get her walker out. But, um, I pulled up and the director of the preschool came out. <laughs> I always know. She's nothing good. She does this a couple times. It's always up for me. Um, but to help me out, she said, so we don't slow up the line, pull over to the other side of the building. So, it worked out. My main goal is just to not have to get out of my vehicle. So if I have to go over and do something special, I'll do it. And, you know, I understand that they want a quick process and that my vehicle and situation is causing some issues and they don't like it so I will do as they want but it's just funny that I knew I just knew it after one day yesterday of it not going well because Raiden got in the front seat he locked the doors when I was trying to get the walker out and the teacher was trying to put Trinity in the car I just knew things wouldn't go well in the future that was my one shot, and I blew it. Um, but anyway, let's see. I just wanted to say something about being booed. Okay, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but the other night, it was the night before Halloween, me and Patrick were sleeping, and then all of a sudden, <coughs> all of a sudden we heard a good knock at the door, and we were like, Oh my gosh, who's knocking at the door? Because all of our kids, we just put them to bed. And that's not the kind of knock you would hear from a child. And so Patrick jumped up and went to the door. And of course, like, there's so many scenarios of, like, what you do when a stranger knocks at your door at 9.30 at night. And Patrick didn't do any of them. Um, so we open the door and just look what is there. Um... So, I don't know. Anyway, there was a paper plate of boo cookies. And we were startled. Didn't know what the heck that was. It had, I'll show you the plate. Um, there was a plate with, like, these Oreos that have these, like, little cute, where is it? One second. It says, you have been booed, keep the fun going, make two copies, and then deliver them in two different families, guessing is part of the fun, and it has these, like, I don't know if you can see them, these cute little Oreo stick things. Anyway, I feel bad because we just wasted them, because we're scared that if we partake, we would go into a deep sleep and some family or person would come in and all of a sudden we would regret our decision. So we didn't know if this was like a prank or like, okay, we take these cookies and then all of a sudden, you know, people come in our house or do something. I don't know. Um, you go outside one second. So I just feel bad because like the whole thing was about having fun. Don't. Don't try to be, you know, so serious with life and keep the fun going. But honestly, it has gotten us to be like, oh my gosh, because we looked back on our camera, because we have security cameras, and this person just appeared out of nowhere. Legitimately, they were under our porch swing on the porch on like second, like in a second. Like it was like, nobody was there. 
and then all of a sudden they were under the swing on the porch, ran up under, knocked on the door, and then took off, and all you could see was, like, the glow-in-the-dark sneakers down the front yard. And we have no idea who this person is, and we were like, oh, fun! We have to get double locks. We need to get more cameras. And, um... Needless to say, we did not pass on the fun. I, I wish we could. I wish we could live in that time. I wish we could do that. But I was scared that if me and Zoe went up in someone's yard, banged on the door, and left some cookies, they wouldn't look at the cookies. They'd say, what the heck are you doing on our yard? And we'd have some big German shepherds after us. I don't know. I just thought, mm, I wish. I don't know. Um feel bad, but they look really nice, those cookies. I'm sure there was some time put into those cookies. Um, but we didn't have quite the reaction that maybe someone should have. Um, my oil for the day is peppermint. Let me get that. I need to be more prepared. Um... Hold on a second. Oh, goodness. Okay. Why is this not working out? Oh, there it is. Okay. Peppermint. Why is this? It's never clear when I do this. It says peppermint, okay? It says fuzzy letters to you guys, but to me it says peppermint. Um, and I was just going to say something really quick about it, because I know a lot of people right now are pregnant, and, um, okay, hold your little horses. Um, this actually really, really helped me when I felt nauseous. I put a couple drops on my stomach, and it really relieved the nausea. Also, when there was a time I had the stomach bug a while ago, this was a lifesaver. Um... So, also people say that you're supposed to do like a drop in your water that, that really helps your digestive system. But, um, I tried to drink a drop the other day and it burned my mouth so bad. And I don't know if I have this like weak lip enamel, if that's a thing. But, um, if you're good at taking shots of whiskey, it won't be a problem. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. But people say, oh, put it a drop in your coffee or a drop in your brownies or whatever. It's really good for your digestive system. So I believe them. I just, something happened and I like woke up and like, oh my gosh. Um, and also, Raiden, Raiden, uh-uh. Um, I just want to say, I don't understand how people can do this. This, you know, oh, I'm going to post videos of myself. Um, because I wanted to do this to show my kids I have a personality. And, um, then I care about how many likes. Like, I look at how many likes I have. And, not likes, what am I saying? I don't have any likes. Um, views. So, it's, it's just weird because, like, you first post it, you feel like you're going to throw up. You're like, oh my gosh, what did I do? And then you're like, um, okay, why not? Let's see if Raiden falls into a deep sleep eating one of those Oreo cookies. Um, Anyway, I just feel bad because I'm turning into one of those people and I like look and check to see how many views like it matters And I honestly did this for nobody but my children and maybe my mother-in-law to know me better or like hi mom and dad You know, this is my day um, but Like I'll have people text me or something that says oh, I love your video and I'm like You liked it? Because I don't remember seeing a like on the video and I'm thinking that, and it's so horrible. I want to just not even, like, care. Like, I don't care if you like it or not. But I started the other day to say, well, there's a lot of views there, but nobody liked it. Like, what's going on, people? Why are you watching it and not liking it? Or, if you loved it, show me. Anyway. I'm really hopeful that this will go away, and I'm in my own head. Um, it's just silly. I just can't imagine people that do this, like, actually, like, all the time, and they do it seriously, 
And then there's so many people that could be like hating on them. I don't know how people do it. Anyway, I'm gonna give one of my uh, boo cookies to my son. See what happens. Yeah. Little test. Yeah. yeah. See if he gets sleepy, sleepy. Yeah. Okay. You have anything to say? Yeah. Yeah. Eat a cookie. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Bye-bye.